Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 19 here on Ravenport. We are going to carry straight on from where we left off in the last episode, so let's get to it. If we're doing large scale um, cows, we're going to need a lot of silage, we're going to need a lot of hay as well, a lot of straw. And this is going to require a lot of bales. So using a Stevie baler, which will allow us to have 8,000 litres per bale and bale faster. I think there's another mod as well that alters bale capacity in general across the map. Um, those sorts of mods, those are going to become essential. Because otherwise we're going to end up with an entire week of loading up a feeder wagon and then tipping it out. And... I can guarantee you that you're, none of you are going to want to watch that. It's just going to be too ridiculously dull to sit around and watch. So we won't do it. I'm not going to put you through that. Um, and secondly, I don't want to put me through that either. So um, I, I'm, I'm going to veto just, you know, standard bales for the 30 million bales that we're going to need for massive cattle. Um, you know, cattle in this game on a really big scale requires obscene amounts of bales and so i want to make sure that we do have everything right so i will be looking for a suitable map i've, I've been getting some good suggestions and i really like some of these suggestions that are coming in um i will probably not put this one to a vote i might i might not but most likely i won't put the next map to a vote i will probably pick out one that i think will suit what I want to be able to do with the series and I think will sort of match all of the necessary criteria as well. Um, so on this one, I'm asking that you all trust my judgment and we will see if my judgment is any good. I tell you what, this cultivator is not bad at all. Look at this thing. It's huge. That's, that's, that's actually quite impressive. I'm assuming that the other tractors, you know, the other really big tractors will also pull it. We're not going to be doing everything in the big scale series with the Big Bud. And yes, I am doing some big scale stuff up here with this one. Uh, the idea for this particular series was that we were supposed to buy up the other... You know, we got three more fields to buy. And we're not far off of doing that, to be honest. It's We're not far off at all. We've got a load of silage to sell. We've got a mountain of chickens. We've got, uh, if i got time, I will get more chickens. But those are now starting to take a back seat because I've got loads of chickens already. And we have proved beyond any reasonable doubt that those work exceptionally well. And they make us a vast sum of money. So I might go and get more just so that we can increase the... Um, output a little bit faster but it's, it's not a priority anymore um, the priority is going to be well we, we can make a load of money off of this and that's not going to take very long at all the, selling the silage we want to get that done we want to sell those as quickly as we possibly can so that then we can see about moving I don't know how many weeks we're going to be left on here we, we've still got probably another two or three weeks here at least um, and then for those of you that are asking, that I, there are a few people that do ask from time to time, yes, I will be releasing the save game for this map, and I'm not quite sure it's going to be uploaded at the moment. I will wait and see. Very likely it will either be Mod Hoster or it will be uh, FSUK. If I, can, if I can get it to upload on FSUK, it will probably go there, but it might be Mod Hoster. It might also be... Um, there is another site that um, is kind of like Mod Hoster, but not quite. It's a little bit different. Um, and they host the mods themselves. And I've been using it. There are some links in the description down below for uh, some of the mods that I've got that actually come from that website. And at the moment, I can't remember what it's called off the top of my head, but I will. That is another one that I'm going to consider. I love the way that we've got. It's absolutely enormous cultivator, and it's actually drifting sideways as we're going along the side here. This cultivator is actually drifting sideways, which, to my mind, is quite incredible. I've also just completely obliterated the road there. Um, as far as I know, these types of cultivators, uh, and also the sea drills that are this big as well, you know, it would help if I straighten, if, if I stayed in a straight line with a tractor, that would probably help. Um, I've seen video of these cultivators and uh, the seed drills that are really big like this as well. 
I've seen them working in fields and I see them go round really really sharp corners they don't lift out at all even when they like turn round right round on themselves they still don't lift out of the ground and they do really really sharp turns so they seem to be designed for being able to do that I don't know if it puts undue strain on them by uh, turning around like that but th the way that they seem to do those turns and stuff it doesn't it doesn't look like it damages them Maybe it does a bit. I'm not quite sure. I, I have absolutely no idea. Never having used them or been involved with anything on this. You see, it's, I, I struggle with the articulated tractors anyway, as you can see. Um, I, I've never been involved with anything of this kind of scale in real life. So I don't really know. And again, it's, it's drifting a little bit. We're, def we're definitely getting a bit of drift with this cult. Are you, I genuinely wouldn't, wouldn't have thought that it would be possible to drift something like this, but there we go. Apparently, I can drift anything. I'm now drifting a big bud. I really want to see that. Tokyo Drift is a great film, okay? I like Tokyo Drift. Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift. Great film. It's fun to watch. And, yeah, you know, there's, it, the story is not particularly deep, uh, but you, you don't really expect a deep story from that sort of film. Um... I would like to see the agricultural version. I've yet to see it. I've been trying. I've been dropping hints here and there. You know, obviously these big producers and movie stars, they all watch my videos. Hi. Hello, Vin Diesel. How are you doing? Uh, can you do Big Bud Drift? Can, can, can you do a film with a Big Bud? Maybe a Case Quad Track as well. You could have one of them. New Holland T9. You, you could have them all lined up and drifting around the round tracks and stuff. I think it would make for a very cool film. You could put bigger engines in them. You Well, you'd have a job to put a bigger engine in this tractor, I think. You'd have to put a jet, jet engine. Jet engine on the back. That's what you need to do. So, yeah, Vin Diesel, obviously you're watching. Um, hello and... I really loved you in, in the, the film um, can, uh, Witch Hunter. Witch Hunter. Love that film. Absolutely love that film. And I'm still waiting for the second one, by the way. I know that you were talking about it. Absolutely loved it. I really want you to make another one. Um, when you're done making that film, can you please do the Tractor Drift? I think Tractor Drift is just going to be brilliant. It's going to be epic. It's going to be absolutely amazing. And they may even you you may even be able to go and buy one of the um the, the original Big Bud tractors. If not, just make a make a new prototype and uh, drift that one instead. If anyone can make this work, it's you, right? Honestly, if anyone can make this work, it is you, Mr. Vin Diesel. Who is, abs I've, I've no doubt that he watches these videos. I've, I've no doubt whatsoever. I watch his videos, so it's only polite that he would be watching mine. Do, do, do you see the, the logic here? If, if I watch his videos, then surely he would be watching mine. Um, no, it doesn't actually work like that, does it? Um, he has, like, millions of people. I, 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 no, I can't even do that, right? I, I have thousands of people watch my videos, and... Thousands of people who also make their own videos that want me to watch their video. I can't watch everybody's videos. Right? I honestly can't. I literally, I do not have time. If I was to watch every single video that people say, Oh, can you watch my video and give me some advice? If I was to go through and watch every video that... Um, you, and anybody who watches mine, if I was to go through and watch all the videos of theirs, I, I literally, there wouldn't be enough days in a week. There would not be enough. I, I think if I put them all back to back and I started watching when I was three years old, I may just be getting to the end of them around about now. As uh, so you kind of see what I'm up against. Uh, so, no, it's, it's, it's just not possible. Now, are you going to be able to make this turn or are you just going to go up to the tree and then say, I can't do it? Thinking he's going to go. No, 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 no. He's, he's, he's reversing. He's backing up. He's thinking about this. We're relying on the hired help right here. I'm loving this cultivator, by the way. I'm absolutely loving this cultivator. So if we've got a very large scale, I don't want a four times map, right? That is something that I'm gonna, I'm gonna, re I'm resistant to using a four times map. I don't think it would be suitable. Um, I think an ordinary size map that's just big fields and is kitted out, it's, it's ready for. I have had one that has been suggested that really does look the part. It, it really does look like it might be the right one for the job. Um, 
I might go looking at that, but yeah, I'm, I'm sort of thinking if we have two or three tractors working up and down, each one with one of these cultivators, we'll be able to do the entire map in next to no time at all. It, it'll be absolutely brilliant. So I'm, I'm looking forward to this. I, I am. Massive scale machinery, the likes of which we've never seen before. And we will tweak it up a little bit with some of the Stevie stuff. Um... Mainly because I don't want to sit and bail 3,000 bales in order to be able to make everything work um, for the cows. Because we're going to... I, I don't want to just do, like, 20 cows. Because 20 cows, it takes a lot to look after 20 cows. You have 40 cows. I think I've got, like, 60 cows at the moment on the time-lapse map. And I'm having to use a lot of bales and a lot of time to keep those cows running and keep them all happy. Um, I don't, if it, yeah, you know, I'd, I'd like to step that up a bit, because let's, let's have a look in here a second, how big is the big pen, All right? I've got, on mine, the small cow pasture, oh, that only goes up to 50 cows, I've got a large cow pasture on mine then, yes I do, it's got four open bays on the front, so I've got a large cow pasture, it, it allows up to 200 cows, right, that is an insane number of cows when you consider just how much work is involved. With looking after even the, the 50 that I've got. Or see, I can't remember what it is. I think it's maybe 60. Look at this thing. It's huge. It's absolutely massive. There's the map. I'm going to leave that one off so that we can see this one a little bit better. And we're just, just going to sort of trail along behind it like this. I could go and get that planter down there. And I could bring that one back up. Except that I don't have a tractor available at the moment and we don't have any money to go and get said tractor. So we're just going to leave it as it is and we're going to watch the big buds do this just, just for a little bit longer and then we will go and do something else. Um, we need to bring some fertilizer up here. So we, we actually, if you look through here, growth there. I've got no fertilizer at all on this field or this field. We will get one layer of fertilizer on. Uh, once we do that, but we've got we need to put fertilizer on down there So really we could have a look at doing some fertilizing and we've got some eggs. We could go and sell How much money are we gonna get for eggs if I go and sell them right now? 4,600 at the restaurant 4,600 is not bad for eggs. It's not bad now. Are you gonna make this turn or are you? He is look at this. He's, he's backing up you know, I'm going to just trust him to go and do his thing for a minute. Or should I watch him until he gets... I'm going to trust him to do his thing for a minute. And we're going to go and see about getting some eggs. Selling them at that restaurant. That's going to get us a little bit of cash. Because there's a cut. There's two things I want some cash for. I want cash to be able to start shifting this silage. And I think the best thing to shift the silage with is going to be that Nora mouse thing. So I want to lease one of those, which I don't have the money for. And I'm also going to want fertilizer, which I don't currently have the money for. So I need to be able to buy fertilizer and I need to be able to lease a, a, a few toys as well. Uh, which means that we're going to definitely need a bit of money. Now let's get this trailer hooked on. There we go, and it should already be, it is on pallets already, so if I, oops, okay, let me swing back round, I probably won't be cutting any more grass for this series, um, I know that we've got a field of grass there that is ready and waiting, but it's, it's a very time consuming process, isn't it, right, we've got a few eggs there but not very much and we've got a few eggs here we've got a few eggs all the way through this, this is the problem is that all of it we've just got a few eggs we don't have that many and we got a few there i got 18 now i'll just take we've got one right there if i can get that one oh no i got okay well we'll take the two that should be fine and Seven pallet. I don't know why I've got a spare pallet up there. I can't really remember why I would have a spare pallet. Okay, so we'll unload those onto there and then we'll put the straps down. And we'll run all these little park pallets up to the restaurant, which seems to be the best amount of money that we're going to get. 
and sell all of this lot so that we can get a bit of fertilizer. Helper F has completed their task. I knew he wasn't going to be able to do that properly. So we'll go up there and we will deal with him first. He's going to have gotten to this point right here. So what was he doing? He was trying to turn round right there. Uh, I tell you what, we will start it back down here on this triangle again. And, yeah, we need to go all the way down here. We'll then let him run all the way back up. So we should run all the way up and then all the way back down again. And then once he's done that, he'll probably stop again. That's, that's what will most likely happen. Is he'll go from here, he'll go all the way up across, and then he'll come back down again. And then he will probably stop. So if you go to there... There we go. Right, so he's now away, and that'll fill that bit. And then we'll take him, and we'll go over to the lower part of the field, and we'll start working from there. It seems to be what we've got to do most of the time with this one. So start you up, and start back up across the road. Uh, I don't know how much. Is it, I absolutely have no clue. I can't tell how many eggs we've got on board here. I know that we've got several, but I, I just looking at it, I can't really assess how many eggs we've got um but yeah as i've been sort of saying this week i'm looking at going for a large scale map um obviously put suggestions again down in the comments and i will be looking at different maps and taking them into consideration but i will probably not put this one to a vote i will probably just take this one this time round and go for what I think is going to work best for the series, rather than going for any particular map based on anything else. 187,000. Helper A is... Help How's Helper A already completed his task? Right, we just got those under there. There's another 32,000. That's given us 200 grand already. I'll put those back on. Let me go to him. Why are you stopping up here? Oh, the tree's in the way. That'll be what that one is. He doesn't like that the tree is in the way. Okay, fine. We will drop down to the bottom edge of the field now. And we will go across from there. This is where the steep bit is. Because we missed a little bit there with the plow last time. We struggled a bit with that Gregoire Besson plow in the end. I mean, it, it, did a, it did a reasonable job, but it still sort of struggled, didn't it? The disc plow would have been better overall. I did have somebody, I can't remember who, I'm really sorry, I can't remember who it was that sent me. Uh, but somebody tagged me in a post on Instagram showing a disc plow at work. And I didn't realise that the disc plow was such a heavy duty thing. Right, I've seen a, a set of discs being used to, like, just chop up... Um, crop residue, stubble and stuff um, after the combine has gone through after the harvest, but I didn't realise that you can also have disc ploughs that are much bigger, much more heavy duty and they properly like dig right down into the ground and plough big time. Um, so somebody linked that to me on uh, Instagram and showed it to me. It was a very cool looking thing, right? It, it was actually a very cool looking thing. So um, we'd have been better off if we'd been able to figure it out. Also, there was something to do with the disc plows on here anyway. Let me have a look in here. Uh, disc harrows. It might be under disc harrows. Nope. it would be under cultivators. Cultivators down here. Um, nope. Uh, plows. It's under plows right here. Uh, hired. That's the one that I should be getting and not that one. Uh, I went for that one because of 25, but this one here works better with the hired help. Um, I don't know if it's because of overlap or something, but that's the one that we should have been using. I made a mistake with that. We couldn't get the hired help to work properly with it. So it's this one here that I should have been using. And then in theory, it would have been all tickety-boo and absolutely wonderful. Now, the big question, is the cultivator going to be able to do what the plow could not? Remember, it was the Gregoire Besson plow, so... That one does struggle a little bit. Cultivator's got no trouble at all. That's just made... Child, it's a child's play. It's absolute child's play. Look at it. 
Look at it going through. Okay, that is absolutely wonderful. Is it like I'm just going to let it mess around there. We're going to go back to this one and we're going to take all of these back down to the chickens. Hopefully before they start uh, spawning in their own pallets. Because well, it is only little boxes that they spawn in. But still, I would like them to not spawn any in. Uh, we'll unload a whole load of these onto the chickens. We've got to carefully space them out. That's the time consuming bit is carefully placing them on all of the correct pens. Uh, but once we've done that, once they're all there... Then it's nice and easy. Run up through this way here. As there's seven up on the top one. And then all the others have got six. And we should, in theory, be able to just unload onto all of them without any issues there. Um, I think what I really should have done is... Well, I'm thinking I must have done last time. We've not had any on this one right here. So what I will do now is I'll take these straps off like that and then, uh, not Y, I need to press U. Load them on there like that. And then I press B. And that puts them unloading over on that side. I'll, I'm just going to turn it round so that it does unload onto that side. And we do have some have spawned already. That's fine. That's not going to spoil anything for us. We'll bring this one round like this. And what I, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to go like that. I'm going to pick that one up and just move it over there out of the way a minute. Then come up here. Get this lined up straight like this. Pull that down a little bit. I just want it to go forward just a little bit about there, I think, and unload. So I've got the front six are right the way across. That's perfect. So now I can back up a bit like that, and I can press U and start loading them. And you can see it's loading them in two, so all i got to do is just go far enough forward to pick up those, and then press U to stop the loading that and then I can pick up that box there and just drop that into one of the cages okay that's that bit done the hired help is still working in our field up there he's doing an absolutely great job let's go up and check on him a second oops wrong way there we go okay we've literally like four passes on the field on that end and he's done the whole lot that is brilliant that is absolutely fantastic yes he's got rather a large amount of field that he's left behind on that bit but it doesn't really matter does it it doesn't really make a huge amount of difference soon as this is done as soon as he's done here we'll be able to go and get the um the seed drill and we'll be able to get going on that but i also i need to get these unloaded but i also want to have this one and I want to get going with some fertilizer up there. I want to get fertilizer on the... Yeah, I suppose it doesn't matter if I do it before or afterwards. Okay, let's not worry about the fertilizer for a minute. Let me go... I'm going the wrong way through them all now. just want to do that. That's all I really wanted to do. And move up here so we get this next one lined up. Like that. Jump out again and... Just move that box over there out of the way Come up here press B to bring the unload mesh and all you got to do is just move it you, you just want to go past the front a little bit like that it seems and I don't need to move it anywhere else just unload it right there that's perfect that is spot on perfect so I back up to here press U to start loading and what I can do is I could just load like a couple of them if I wanted to, I'm not going to do that though. I'm just going to do it like that. And then press U to stop loading. And move on. Jump out and grab that one and put that one. Oops, come here. Come here. You can go in there. Go and get this one. And then I've just got two pallets to put on that very end one. So bring you up there. Get that one there out of the way. Because I did want to put more chickens here. That what it, I know that it's like now it's, it's become a thing where it's not like so much of an essential to the playthrough. But 
if we've got time, we will try and get just a few more chickens up here. And another couple of pens or something. Uh, maybe we'll do that while we're waiting for this next lot of crops to grow. Uh, mainly because I'd like to kind of use up some of that land up there and build some tracks up to where we're going to have the new chicken pens. Because I think that could be quite a cool little thing. Just just to have those extra little bits here and there. Uh, let's bring you and drop you into... Okay, let's... let's oh, okay. okay. It, it fell into the final cage right there. That's fine. We'll cope with that. Helper H has completed his task. I very much doubt it, but I just want to get this one unloaded now. Uh, no, I, I'm, I'm, I pressed load. Uh, I want to go B. The, the, the mesh is underground at the moment. It's right there. See, it's just now creeping up above the surface. So if I come forward a bit. Like that. Perfect. Pretty much spot on perfect. They are overlapping. Might just nudge them forward a little bit. Just a little bit. We, we just do that gently. Like that. There. Okay, that's that's good enough. And if I back up a little bit here. Let me stop you right there. You are done. And you're not quite done. Quite sure why you think you're done. But you're not quite. Tell you what though. It's, it's pretty close. It is pretty close. We'll just... Nudge him back into there, and he will come down through. We've got this stretch up through here, and then we've just got a couple little triangle bits to tidy up down there. Then we can run back down to the dealership, and we can pick up the cultivator. Not the cultivator, the seed drill down there, and the, the big thing behind... No, wait. Um, does that go behind the seed drill, or does that go in front of the seed drill? I can't remember which way round it goes. The tank goes behind, doesn't it? Yeah. It put the, the you have that directly behind, like the cultivator is now, and then the um, the the tank part um, with the the wheels, you know, the bit that holds the seed and everything. That that's pulled along, that's trailed along behind, isn't it? That's that's the bit that's like the, the follower rather than the leader. Um, are you going to keep going? He is. The hired help is actually doing this little bit. You can keep going all the way up, and then is it going to? Right, he's, he's not actually stopping. I think he was considering turning himself round to go and finish the other bit. We'll do that ourselves. We'll go and get that bit. Over around here. We'll keep this cultivator. Although I don't know why. Do I need... I, I'm thinking about this now and I'm thinking, do I need to keep this cultivator? Am I actually going to want this cultivator for anything after I have completed this task and off the top of my head I can't think of anything that we're gonna want this cultivator for but I'm not I don't think we should get rid of it because we might want it that we might have something that we want it for some people have been saying that I should go for the Welker Farms map I don't think it's out yet but I should wait until the Welker Farms map comes out and I should use that one. Again, this is another one of those really, really big maps, really, really popular maps. And because it's a really big one, really popular type one, I probably won't play it. Because everybody else does it. Kind of one thing that I have done a lot of in my series is that I've looked at maps that are less popular, less well known and... Well, there we go, folks. I'm afraid that's it. We've run out of time, which means that we need to head on home. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please hit down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.